Hello, my friend. This is Clyde. I recommend to you the greatest friend ever. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 24 says, One who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. And John chapter 15 verse 12 through to verse 15 says, My command is this, Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father I have made known to you. Recently, my wife and I were out on a date and we ran into two ladies by an elevator having a light banter. They looked alike, so with my nicest tone I said, Sisters? They giggled in a way that suggests they have heard it over and over. And then one said, We are like sisters. We have been best friends for 53 years. Words of celebration. Pat and I commended them before going off on our own business. The most celebrated friendship in the Bible is that of a prince and a shepherd, one David and Jonathan. One lived in the palace and the other was from the other side of the track. One was rich, the other one took care of sheep for a living. Truth is, by the time these guys became friends, David was scheduled to be the next king of Israel and Jonathan's dad hated this man who was going to take away his royal title and rob his son of his rightly inheritance. Your father hates him to the point of wanting to kill him, and yet this man is your best friend? How do you make sense of that? These two men cemented their friendship with a lifetime covenant. They would hang out in the palace, link out, link up in the forest. Jonathan would snitch to give David tips of his father's latest plans to kill him. They exchanged items over and over again. This bond, this friendship ended sadly when Jonathan and his father were killed in a bloody battle with their arch enemy, the Philistines. Listen to how David eulogized his best friend. I grieve for you, Jonathan, my brother. You were very dear to me. Your love for me was wonderful, more wonderful than that of women. Several years later, after David was crowned king of Israel, he launched a search for any living family of Saul and Jonathan. David wanted to honor his covenant with Jonathan. They found Jonathan's son living in a rundown community and lame in both feet. David had him brought to the palace immediately, and the day he arrived, David invited him to live in the palace for the rest of his life. As of that day, this son of his late friend Jonathan would eat at the king's table every day. That day, Jonathan's son became a member of the royal family of Israel. Why? His late father was best friend to the second king of Israel. Today I want to talk to you about my friend Jesus. Come on, don't quit on me now. Just hear me out to the end. The first text did not mention his name, but it is crystal clear that the writer is talking about Jesus, that friend that is closer than a brother. I've seen some brothers, especially twins, and they are inseparable. They are so closely knitted that everyone else in their lives comes a distant second. Jesus is a friend that is 100% closer than your closest brother. Let us check out the second text. And there's a line in that text in which we hear Jesus talking. He says, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Did you hear that? Jesus died for his friends. Great thing is that he came back to life, but that is the magnitude of his friendship, that he would die for you. I truly cannot wrap my mind around it, and neither can you. It blows your mind that someone could love you so much to such an extent that they would die for you to prove that love. Jesus did, and he did so willingly. My friend, 
you might have nothing to do with religion. Religion might seem like some mumbo jumbo fantasy that little old ladies hang on to as if it is real. Let me tell you something. I'm not talking religion right now. Oh no, I am talking reality. Jesus is real and he is the best friend you could ever have. Everybody needs a friend, including you. Your brother or your sister can love you, especially because you are in the same family. You come from the same parent or parents. But I can tell you, I have seen some siblings not get along. Something happened and the friendship snapped. It is not written in stone that siblings will be best friends for life. That is where Jesus comes in, my friend. If you get into a relationship with Jesus, you have a friend for life, a forever friend. Listen, Jesus is such a friend that he has already called you his friend long before you heard of him and long before you entered into a two-way relationship with him. My experience with Jesus as a friend is, in one word, amazing. I find I need a friend when I'm in trouble, when I'm in a dark place and no human can soothe my pain. Jesus, my dearest friend, he turns up and he pours love into my broken heart and literally turns my sadness to joy. Jesus, as a friend, is the one who is always there for you, 24-7. Come on. You know how frustrating it is when you try to reach your friend by phone and you can't find them. You might start to, your mind starts to race, wondering what's wrong. You try and try again until what seems like eternity. Your friend calls back and something as simple as, my phone died or I was in a meeting. With Jesus, no such thing. He is with you all the time. Here's the thing. Jesus' love as a friend is incomparable. You will never find anyone who loves you like Jesus. I'm not saying you are to drop your friends for Jesus. I'm just saying that the missing piece of your life is Jesus. Open your heart's door today and invite Jesus into your life. No kidding. No gimmicks. You need this friend called Jesus. Remember David and Jonathan's son who came to live in the palace for the rest of his life? Jesus has already put things in place for you to come to be a part of his family. And this goes beyond death. Jesus, greatest friend ever.